So during the course of filming this video for you guys, I actually ended up having a dog come up and bite me on the foot. That ends up popping up on the video here later. Uh, it was absolutely a, a wild day um, after I was out here doing some storm cleanup. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the biggest advantage that uh, Solo Lawn Care guys have. Uh, the first is flexibility. So Solo operators, they have the freedom to set their own schedules. Um, this flexibility allows them to manage their own time uh, according to their own preferences and accommodate just their personal commitments. You know, some of my friends that I have helped started lawn care businesses, um, they have just completely chosen to remain solo. Um, the reason why is I think they really just enjoy the flexibility of waking up, starting on their own time, taking breaks as needed throughout the day, or heck, like even running kids around. You know, that really is a great benefit of being a solo guy is just the complete and total flexibility. Number two is the direct control of your business. Um, so operating solo, it means that you have complete control over every aspect of your lawn care business. If you want something implemented in your business, you just do it. Um, you want something removed from your business, you just remove it. Um, there is literally no consulting any partners or talking to employees about what they want to do. You literally just do what you think is best for the business. Okay, number three, and this is a big one, is profit retention. So as a solo operator, you get to keep all the profits your business generates. Um, there's no need to split earnings with partners or shareholders, um, which this can result in a higher personal income temporarily. Um, I look at labor costs for our lawn care business, and of course, it is our biggest line item cost by far. Uh, and really, I mean, it's not even close. Uh, if you have a couple guys um, like we do, you know, just assuming you're paying a decent wage and, and you're paying payroll taxes, using a payroll service, I mean, the cost of running just two, I mean, can easily exceed 75 to 80K a year. And that's assuming they're only working eight or nine months out of the year. So you have to determine, like, are they at least earning you that much? And, and I'll tell you something. They can't just be earning you a hundred grand if if they're taking up eighty, right? Like I'd rather not have to deal with it. So unless your business is like fully streamlined with good route density and it's a very very uh, well oiled machine, uh, having extra employees, I mean, many times the answer is no. It just doesn't make sense. Lower overhead cost. Okay, so a lot of people just think about the direct cost of the labor of the employee, but in addition to that, I mean, there is additional staff and just more infrastructure. That your business needs um, whenever you have employees for example if you are not using employees then you don't need to purchase an extra truck for them to be in you don't have to purchase extra mowing equipment you don't have to match fica taxes uh, have a payroll processing company like you don't have to have a storage unit or a workplace for them to come and park their vehicles you don't have to have any of that and while people a lot of times just think of the the direct labor costs like there are a lot of overhead costs uh, associated with having employees and all this stuff, it is extremely expensive. And again, unless your business is really optimized and very, very efficient, um, these costs just quickly eat away at all the business profits. Number five, and I love this one, is closer client relationships. Um, so solo operators, they often have the opportunity to develop very, very close relationships with their clients. This personal touch, uh, it can lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty as, as clients really do appreciate dealing directly with the person that's performing the service on their property. I mean, honestly, this was one of the keys to my business in the beginning. People just wanted to do business with Jonathan Christian. I mean, I would shake their hand, look them in the eye, you know, and give them my word. And if I told them that I was going to do something, I mean, they absolutely knew it was going to happen. Fast forward to today, and while I still have close relationships with my clients, um, there are probably about half of them that I've never seen before or, or even spoken to. Um, and I could have had them as a client for years. And I can tell you that when inevitably you drop the ball on something or, or make a mistake on the property, the clients that I that I do not know personally, they are much less forgiving um, whenever they call the office than, than the clients that I personally know. Um, there really is something to be said for having a close working relationship with your clients. Next is specialization and expertise. So solo guys, like they can choose to specialize in specific areas or niches within the lawn care industry. As a solo guy, you can very easily learn new skills and implement those services in your business without having to train employees. Um, this could be something like getting a fertilization and weed control certification, uh, learning how to 
work on sprinkler systems, uh, troubleshooting plant diseases, just kind of these unique boutique services uh, that kind of require a higher level of training um, than your basic maintenance service. By being a solar operator, you can quickly acquire new income producing skills and then just add them to your service business. Okay, next there is less complexity. Managing a solo lawn care business, you know, it's generally less complex than running a larger operation with multiple employees. You know, less administrative tasks, there's fewer HR responsibilities, coordination efforts, and this just makes it easier to focus on the core services. When you have multiple employees, there are just more tasks and more responsibilities for you to be looking over. Um, you're not just focusing on getting the work done and getting paid. Okay, this is a big one, okay? Uh, independence. I really want you to, to listen to this to this point, okay? If you are a solo guy, you are truly the master of your own fate. Um, there's no one to do the work for you. Um, there's no one to fall back on. Um, and therefore, there is no one to blame. Uh, it's all on you. I'll, I'll tell you something. Um, I have seen enough of my friends and family fired from good paying jobs that, uh, you know, just to be uh, completely honest with you, I'd rather just, just bet on myself. Let, let me explain something to you. If, if you are earning a paycheck from a job, then your monthly budget is set. That's it. Like what you got coming in, that's it. However, if you are the master of your own fate, you have the ability to earn more. Okay, now listen, if and when you understand this, it is life changing that you have the ability to earn more. Let me tell you, man, um, braces on kids, they're not cheap, you know? Let's say it costs you an extra $200 a month. Well, you just go out and sell more work. You got a dream vacation that you're wanting to do. Um, you know what? You need to do a few extra heads trimming jobs every month and set that money aside for that dream vacation. How about this one? You think you're deserving of a raise, you know, but you're afraid to, to ask your boss for that measly cost of living allowance. Let me tell you what, man. Uh, if you got a decent book of business with your lawn care business and you just raise the prices by a few dollars on your, on your clients, um, that's easily bringing in an extra thousand dollars to your monthly budget. The point is, being a solo guy, you get to make those calls and you are the master of your own fate. Okay, and while there are clear advantages to being a solo lawn care operator, it's important to acknowledge that challenges, they, they do exist, um, like limited scalability, uh, your workload constraints, there's only so much work you can do during the day as a solo guy, um, and, and the work is just completely reliant upon you. Ultimately, the choice between operating a solo or being part of a larger team it just depends on your individual preferences, your business goals, and the nature of your market.